What's up guys, this is IR Pilot, and I've got another Rust Base Design video for you. Today I'm going to be talking about your first base, now that the dynamics have changed, as well as uh, speaking about building for the future. As you can see, this base that uh, I have in front of me is currently uh, set to be 4x4, and it has an entrance to the second floor. Now this was built in a way where it started out as a 2x1, was expanded to be um, two by four and then um, the third expansion is um, going either direction let me show you how I made this so the reason for this idea is that I noticed a lot of cool bases being shared all over um, forums and uh, the subreddit but um, not really being too achievable for a new player. Yeah, sure, some of them were smaller bases, but the question always remained, you know, how do you get started? How do you get to this point? And so um, I developed this way of building that I'm sure other people are using too, where I'm uh, just constantly trying to think of what will be my next phase of uh, expansion onto this base. The first thing to do is, um, like usual, choose an area that um, will be able to accommodate your uh, future plan base. You kind of want to have an idea generally of how big you're going to end up going with it. And the first phase of this base, um, I'm choosing to start at the uh, high corner of this area I found here. And I'm going to expand that, that direction. So the first um, phase of this base is going to be two foundations. Now, uh, because I plan on going up to a second floor, I am going to use pillars. So for this design, we're going to use pillars, even though it's not necessary on a base this size. And uh, the next decision I'm going to make uh, is to put up doorways. And this is where you start thinking about the future. I'm going to put up two doorways here because I intend on passing in through here is the entrance and further on into the rest of my base as I grow. But we don't have very much resources, we're new to a server, we're just trying to get established for the night. So we're going to take our uh, 2x2 two two, or 1x2 here, we're going to place the half block so we can put a uh, split the floor in here. Okay so we got our floor split now and we can throw our roof on here and our doorways all right now we're completely sealed in this right here is our first base now um, by this point you would have probably already had a furnace and uh, you're gonna have to fight with um, whether or not you want to use a key lock or if you want to leave your base undefended and open with um, furnace and maybe chests in here um, while you cook up enough metal to create a code lock. Alright, so I've gone ahead and um, placed out items that I would consider um, necessary for this first phase. Uh, we got three different storage chests. We have a uh, building cabinet and we have a furnace, a fire, and a sleeping bag. This sleeping bag is going to get annoying pretty quick because you're going to hit it every time you go in and out of your door. But that's okay. Um, hopefully we only have to deal with this for a short amount of time before we're ready for our second phase. So since we're poor, we only built this out of wood. We're, we're saving up our um, stones in there, but if you feel the need to um, upgrade it to stone, uh, go ahead and do that. But don't forget, you know, the weak spot's really the door. So if this isn't sheet metal, then you might as well leave this wood. Because no matter what, one thing broken, they're getting in. All right, now after spending some time inside this uh, two by one base, you're gonna need some storage space. Maybe you're still good with the one furnace, but you're definitely running out of room to stick stuff. So um, that's the reason we left this extra space on the back here. So uh, let's build out some storage into a room back here. So really the thing to know is about always keeping doors for the direction that you're expanding in. This, these aren't hard set rules, you don't have to follow this technique, and you might actually think of something in a different way than I have. But here's what I do. Uh, I build over a hallway into a 2x2 um, two two room here. 
And the reason I do that is so that instead of expanding directly into a 2x2 two two, where you'd have to end up leaving uh, a door to the side or reducing your shelf space uh, by having to leave a pathway straight through, um, this puts it over to the side um, out of your way and also gives you um, more options for expanding um, upward as far as I'm concerned. So this is the way I'm going to manage this. I'm going to um, pillar out everything as I said I still plan on going up another floor and I've placed um, all my walls that I plan to leave here for this room so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and split the floor with uh, ease here because of the uh, shelf already existing in that other room And then just to provide us with some cover, um, we're going to also want to have walls uh, around this. And uh, we're going to need to consider how we plan to expand for the rest of the base. So I'm going to make a doorway straight out this way so I can expand backwards. And also, I believe that this is a good chance to start planning for our second floor, which we'll be up to in no time. So I'm going to lay out the rest of my floor here. I'm going to build up my stairwell or where I'm going to end up setting my ladder. Now that I've expanded to this point, I'm ready for the second floor and I also have this extra storage room. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. I'm going to use a different material so we're able to visually recognize from the outside. But I would also believe that by this point you might be starting to uh, gain more valuable items and you may actually want to use stone in this room instead. But I'm going to upgrade to stone here just so this sticks out more. Alright, I've gone ahead, I've upgraded my hallway just to wood because I don't care too much about it. Um, this room is now stone. And um, if I wanted to, I may consider making that wall stone as well. But um, now we've expanded and we've added some storage space for ourselves. And um, after we fill this up, we're going to either want to um, build up, which I've placed a ladder here. So we may want to um, use this new surface as our um, building. Or we also have the option to expand backwards. And uh, just to demonstrate real quick, this should be pretty straightforward, but I would probably consider more pillars. Uh, personally, uh, I, l I like that storage room I have down there, so I think that I would end up walling this off in such a way that I have another 2x2 um, two two room here. And um, this could be used as a um, bedroom, auxiliary storage, move your uh, building cabinet up to here instead. So that's uh, expanding the third phase up to the top and then it should also be pretty obvious but um, we're really free to do what we wish here. And we could expand out this way. The main thing is always trying to think about where you're going to put another hallway. You don't want to end up, um, well, maybe it wouldn't bother you, but you don't want to end up with a hollow hallway on one floor because you decided to expand on the top floor um, without actually accommodating it. But it's the onion thing, you know, more layers to peel back for the enemy. So and another thing here um, that I didn't actually plan on is expanding backwards. So uh, that's something else you could do right here is that this could have been another doorway to expand out over that um, floor that I might end up setting here. So to have another look at the uh, general idea, um, we're starting out with a one by two as our first base. We're adding a 2x2 uh, two two for extra storage, and we build a hallway to lead to that, which still allows room, or uh, still allows a uh, doorway to be placed for expansion either backwards, or we can also build with plans for expansion upward. So, um, 
not a real game changer, but I hope this changes the way that um, people look at their first base. Uh, from this, we can expand as far as we need to, as safe as we feel uh, keeping inside of this base until we actually have um, resources where we can go um, straight armored with a really nice uh, furnace-based ba base or a storage-based base. The more purpose-built bases that you're starting to see. We're going to need something like this before we can get there. Alright, so I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Peace, guys.